In general, a relay can use any of five different elements. These include a plunger element, a clapper element, an induction disk element, an induction cup element, and solid state circuitry, or a combination of these elements. Input to a relay with a plunger element creates a magnetic field in a coil. When the input changes beyond a predetermined value, the magnetic field attracts a plunger into the coil to close the relay's contacts. With a clapper element, input to the relay creates a magnetic field at one end of an electromagnet. When the input changes beyond a desired value, the magnetic field attracts a hinged plate to the electromagnet to close the relay's contacts. A relay with an induction disk element has an electromagnet that is intersected by a metallic disk. Input to the relay creates a magnetic field in the electromagnet that cuts through the disk, producing a torque on the disk. The torque is opposed by the tension of a restraining spring. When input to the relay changes beyond a desired value, the torque overcomes the spring causing the disk to rotate and close the relay's contacts. Some parts of an induction cup element are difficult to see. Combining the relay element with a simplified illustration helps in describing it. Input to an induction cup element creates magnetic fields at the pole face of several electromagnets. These magnetic fields create a torque on the cup. When the input changes beyond a predetermined value, the torque becomes great enough to rotate the cup and close the contacts. In a solid state relay, the element is solid state circuitry. Input to this relay element is electronically processed through the circuits. When the input changes beyond a desired value, the circuitry provides an output signal. So, relays generally use one or more of five common elements, which include the plunger, clapper, induction disk, induction cup, and solid state elements.